You must be over 18 to apply. More details from the FA. Over 18 to apply? Yes. Could be in there. Oh, just. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> Well, it's 95 years since a bear called Pooh with a taste for honey first began to charm children and quite a lot of older readers too. Now, to mark the anniversary, a new book has been published exploring Pooh's early years. Of course, the original stories were set in Ashdown Forest in Sussex, so where better for, a, for the prequel to be launched, our very own Eeyore, Malcolm Shaw, takes up the tale. This stone, continued Eeyore, marks the place where I once found a particularly fine thistle. Not far from the Hundred Acre Wood, fictional home of Winnie the Pooh, author Jane Reardon reads from her new work, Once There Was a Bear. Her audience are spellbound, as children have been by the stories for generations. Jane's book has been brought out to mark the 95th anniversary of A.A. A. Milne's first publication. I just think there's something so timeless about them. This is a world with no adults, it's just children, toys, animals, whatever you would like to call them. Um, so there's an incredible freedom to, to those stories. Ashdown Forest was the country home of the author and his son, the real Christopher Robin. The distinctive landscape provided the perfect setting for his adventures. Fans of the stories still come from around the world to retrace their footsteps. When you're walking around, you can visit the heffalump trap, you can go to Rue's sandy place and uh, visit uh, Eeyore's gloomy place. So it's magical for people to explore and realise that the stories that they read are actually based in real places. So there's a real link between the literature and the landscape. I like Winnie the Pooh because he's very funny and I used to watch him when I was four or three. I love when Tigger like, changes Eeyore into Tigger but himself. Then it was time for a little more storytelling. As Pooh himself put it, it isn't much good having anything exciting if you can't share it with somebody. Malcolm Shaw, ITV News, Ashdown Forest. And from Winnie the Pooh to Philippa, the weather. <laughs> Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV Meridian Weather. Hello there. It's been relatively quiet out there today, but the next few days look decidedly unsettled. More in the way of rain or showers heading our way. Quite windy at times too, and with all of that, feeling pretty cool as well. But it remains fairly quiet through much of this evening and tonight, staying largely dry. Clear skies overhead, and underneath those clear skies, quite a chilly night to come. Rural spots easily down to around 4 or 5 Celsius by dawn. So a fairly chilly start to the day tomorrow, but dry initially. It won't be long though before we see thickening clouds and outbreaks of rain pushing their way eastwards, clearing for the afternoon, but I think still quite a lot of cloud and some blustery winds as well, making it feel quite cool once again. As we head through the latter part of tomorrow and into Friday, it remains unsettled. Showers overnight, then another band of rain piles in from the west, working its way eastwards. That clears to further sunny spells and showers for the rest of Friday, and that really does set the tone as we head into the weekend as well. So more in the way of showers or longer spells of rain, some heavy bursts possible, hail or thunder thrown in and brisk winds throughout. Do take very good care and I'll see you again later. Bye bye for now. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV Meridian Weather. It is almost October. Well, coming up soon, the ITV Evening News with Mary Nightingale. Sangeeta has got our late news just after 10.30 this evening. Make a day to join her, won't you? But for now, from the team here at ITV Meridian, thank you for watching. Join us again tomorrow. Take care. Enjoy your evening. See you later. Bye-bye.